everybody. It is Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday to all, all, all my friends. I hope all of you are doing great. I hope all of you are doing wonderful. So, good morning, Diamond Bears. What's up? What's popping? Okay. So, we're going to start this off. I'm watching Asia go on the bus. <laughs> So, what's poppin'? What's rockin'? Oh, what's poppin'? Oh, what's rockin'? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you been? Woo, woo! I know you like when I do that. So, it is Tuesday, and it's Happy Taco Tuesday. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody had a good Monday. I hope you had a good work day yesterday. I hope you had a good everything yesterday. Okay? Um, meanwhile, this is me, Fritzy, coming to you at full effect. So, hold on. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay, now that's better. So, I got my little fall shirt. My little fall scrub on, you know, so you like it. Hold on a second. It has little, wait. Mm-hmm. Like it has some scarecrows on it. You know, that's the only thing I like about fall. Because it cute little colors and pumpkins and scarecrows and don't like the cold weather, but I like all that, but it's not cold, I gotta be thankful and appreciative, because it's been in the 80s, damn near near 90s, and I feel good, I can have this all the time, you know, because me, I like cold, hot, hot weather, hold on guys, wait a second, hold on, okay, I had to put my do not disturb stuff on, so I don't get no disturbations when I talk to y'all, so, it is a good day. I want <laughs> everybody. Everybody was like, Frenzy, where in yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I'm not apologizing for it neither. <laughs> neither. No, I'm not. I'm not apologizing for Jack. You know what? I'm not apologizing for Jack crap. Because that's how I feel. That's how I felt. <laughs> I felt that way. You know, because it's just like, y'all ridiculous with this stuff. Y'all just some ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's been hell. But, you know, um, I'm like, wow. <laughs> y'all, you know, y'all really thought you were coming for me. Y'all really thought that. Listen, you gotta realize this girl right here, this girl, if y'all if y'all see me every day, y'all know I lie, y'all know I don't take no crap. You know what I'm saying? Say, listen, I was raised in the hood of all hoods, okay? So I'm not scared of nobody, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody. You know, I'm a sweet person. I really am. I I I love to the, I love to my core. Um and so forth. Like, you know, when my kids were growing up and they had their friends, they would come over, they would try to think, I want to go to my friend's house. They knew I didn't like them at nobody's house, whatever. So they'd be like, their friends be like, Your mom's mean, like she don't play. She, my kids were like, No, my mom's not mean. She she's a really sweet person, but my mom's not for the bullshit. <laughs> my mom's not for the bullshit. My mom does for the BS. My mom, when my mom says no, it's no, it's one thing is no, and that's it. And when it comes to us, she's very, 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 very serious. Like, she don't play no games. Like, she lets us play, have fun, and we go out, we have fun, we have, but, you know. And, and my, my, my kids have a few closest friends, <laughs> close friends, and they're like my children. And they, they, they know now, they know how they're grown, they know, they're like, they're like, when I met mom, we were, we were like scared, but we got to know mom, and mom, mom would do anything for us. And for my kids' friends, I would do anything for them, and they know it, so. But, you know, it's just, I don't play no games, especially when it comes to my kids. Like, like I, you know, like I, like I told some friend yesterday, I was talking, I was talking to him last night. Listen, it's not the, I don't give a crap if y'all talked about me. If y'all, y'all say this and y'all say that about me, I don't give a crap. I don't care, you know, but when you start talking about debilitating diseases and stuff like that and wishing that upon other people and children and stuff like that. That's when I got a freaking problem with you. Because now you're going to hear my mouth. And that was my whole little thing yesterday. But I digress, people. I digress. No, <laughs> I don't digress. But, you know, 
I had, I think, after I put that video up, I think I had, what, one troll come on in talking about go pick cotton, the cotton field or something like that, something along those lines, you know, some racist stuff, but, um, whatever, <laughs> I'm like, whatever, I'm like, maybe my eight answers and answers did, but, you know what I'm saying, I said, y'all, y'all hating, y'all, that's all, y'all, that's all you got to say, <laughs> I love that because when they do it to me, I laugh. I'm like, really? That's all y'all got. Like, really? Bad. But anyway, now we're going to talk about that. I just bull crap. But anyway, I is a happy Tuesday. Today, I had to go pay some bills. I got to go to the water company as before I go to work. I got to go pay my bill. I got to pay my water bill. You know, water bill do. So I'm like, if I don't go pay my water bill, I like I, I don't want to have to wake up the next day, come home the next day, and can't wash my ass. <laughs> I don't want to come home from work, go get in the shower. I can't take a shower. I can't wash my ass. I ain't got no water. <laughs> oh my God! Listen, listen. I gotta get that done. Oh, but I was saying, well, I, I, I lost a very train of thought. That I, well, I was talking about these people that. They thought that I was really, really, I don't know, I'm jumping back and forth. I'm sorry, people. But I really had to, because it's in my head, so I got I to gotta say it. When something's in my head, I got to say it. So, you know, these people think that because what they say, what they say about me, that I, it affects me. No, hello. I was raised in the hood of all hoods, okay? I was raised, if y'all look it up, it is now, back then it wasn't, but now it is the second, the second worst city in the country. Okay, so if you think y'all gonna affect me, and I go to the city every day to work, like nothing. I go in there like nothing because I'm no, I be, no, I know my hood, I know my city, I know what it's about, what not about. You know what I mean? Like you go in the street, you always some um, they stab you right there. They don't give a shit. They don't care. And I was I was raised to be tough. I would, you know, say that's all this stuff on the internet don't bother me. People let, let people on, on the stuff that people say on the internet bother them. Like, it didn't bother me. It didn't bother me. Y all, y all, I sat in my life and laughed. But when y'all said something about kids and about putting debilitating diseases on people, that's when I care how to come out and say something. But other than it bothered me, I was impressed. I was like, eh, okay. <laughs> you over there behind the computer. I'm over here. You ain't got nothing. You you hiding behind a fake account. You ain't got you you you're hiding yourself. So why am I going to get with you because you hiding yourself? You a person that you can't even confront me. Babu, peace. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So where I was raised, now I'm ready to fight and fight dirty. So I I don't care. So I know I I I impressed. But anyway, like I said, I gotta go pay my bill. <laughs> I have my water bill. I gotta pay all that. Look, my son, that sun is really like it's a glare. Hold on. I don't know. Sun like it want to. I don't know over here. But anyway, um, I just want to say I gotta go pay my bills. <laughs> so before I go to work, I gotta run in and pay my bills, my water bill, and all that. I'm watching Asia get on the bus because she's sitting there at the corner waiting for the bus at the driveway. But anyway. I want to talk about something just real, real quick. I just want to uh, I already ate. I mean, can be speaking sometimes um, about some things. Um, well, it's something that I had a conversation with another friend of mine. So I was in front of the phone like till like one o'clock in the morning. I was with one friend and I hung out there. I got on another phone with another friend. And um, so I and I always ask because like a lot of the stuff that I talk about in here is something that either I'm going through, my friends are going through, or somebody I know is going through, and I like to talk about it because I talk, I, good, I give good advice to them, and I like to talk about stuff like that. But um, I did ask permission. I did I did ask permission. Um, uh, you know, I asked permission. To my friend, I'm like, listen, I'm not gonna shout you out. Of course, they know, they know I never do that. They, my friends, my close friends know that. Never they say it's between, but I said, you, is it okay for me to discuss it? Because maybe some other people going through the same thing. And they say, yeah, for it, you don't care about that. Because they know that I, I don't, you know, but I do like to discuss some things, you know. Like, I have a friend, <clears throat> um, like we was talking about yesterday, you know, I don't know if any, like anybody else go through it. Like, they, they feel like, you know, like they give their all to people. And they feel like they, 
you know, like the people, like they're not appreciative. They're not appreciated. They, um, you know, hold on a second, guys. Yes. What, honey? Um, go look on the TV in the, in the house because I don't, I can't put on my my clock right now, honey. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go ahead, honey. <laughs> she don't. She, she's not, she's waiting at the thing. And she, I think she, think, she don't know that she came out a little bit too early. So she, the, the bus is, you know, she don't want to be late for the bus. But, um, <clears throat> hold on, guys. Bye, Asia. I love you. Love you too, baby. Bye. <laughs> she went to school. That's my baby. <laughs> um, so, you know, she how she's not appreciated, and like people don't appreciate. Oh, well, not her, right? But you know, like her and got kind of other people too. But you know, and she's like, you know, Fritzy is like, you know, I do and do and do for people. I do and do and do for people, and people like just, you know. But when I need somebody, or when I need something, or I need somebody, I just need. She said, I don't, I don't even need anything. You don't have to give me anything. But like just to like you know be a shoulder to cry on, you know whatever. And she, I, it, she said she feels like the love is not reciprocated. Um, I know a lot of you went through that or are going through that. You know what I mean? And I, I tell her, I said, honey, I said, you, you put energy into people who don't need your energy. You know what I mean? You don't need your energy. And I know that you don't need nothing from nobody and, and all that. Let me turn over. That that glare is really bothering me. Um, I know that you don't need nothing from anybody and not like that. Because you, you're just not that type of person. But, um, you know, usually when you're when you're dealing with people like that, they're already showing your, their true colors. All right? They're already showing their true colors about how, how they move, the movements they make, how, how they, you know, what they do, how they act. How, you know what I mean? So God is already telling you this person is no good. But we, you know, some people, and that's me, I'm included, that, I, you know, we have such a good heart. You know what I mean? That we, we, we see, we always try to see, no matter what signs, God, you know, is just trying to tell us about this person. We always try to see the good in that person. But sometimes we have to open our spiritual eyes, okay? Our spiritual eyes and intuition be like, you know what? This person ain't no good. This person ain't no good. Um, I'm not going to keep trying to hurt somebody and, you know what I mean? And 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 then, and then you know, you're there with them and then they sit there and they talk crap behind your back. And it backs up. That's not a friend. That's not, that's not, you know, it's like she said, she said, really, like the only person I can come to. <laughs> to talk about these things and i'm like you know and she always she calls me the therapist <laughs> she calls me the motivational speaker therapist and um and I, okay i like that because that's my dream to be a motivational speaker and it really is my dream um so you know i tell her, i said honey just all you gotta do is be like cut them off you know what i'm saying one word when they come to you and they be like oh you know i'm like listen I don't want to hear it. I don't got time for it. I, I'm not trying to be around that crap. I, to be honest, because when I need, when I, when, when you always want to use me to your advantage. And once you don't need me, y'all want to kick me to the curb and treat me like crap. And you don't need to be, that's toxic people. So you don't need to be around that stuff. So you just got to be like, break free. You know what I mean? You have to, you what happens is when you're around people like that all the time, it brings you down. It brings your aura down. It brings your spirituality down. And you walk like the sulking, like a depressed person because this person is bringing all this toxic crap in your life. It's bringing all this negative stuff. It's negative, 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 negative. Stop surrounding stuff around negative people, people who don't deserve your time, your mind, your friendship, your love, your loyalty. They don't deserve any of that. So don't, but you know, be, I'm telling you, once you cut those people off, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a an or good or about you. You're gonna see that it's good. You know what I mean. You're gonna live a good life, and 
but you got to cut them out your life. You know what I'm saying? This is my little advice to you. If you have anybody in your life that's taking anything from you, that's taking away your, your joy, that's sitting out there, you know what I mean? Just talking, you know, they're supposed to be loving you and whatever, but they don't. They treat you like crack. Cut them off. They ain't worth it. And they ain't worth your time. They ain't worth your time. Cut them off. They come out here and listen. You, I, I, oh, I have love for you. I keep praying for you. I have love for you, but I just can't be around you. You know, you can't be in my social circle because I don't have time for it. That's it. You know what I mean? Just cut negative people off and keep it pushing. But on that note, I'm already at 15 and a half minutes, so I got to go. I, I, I don't like this being too long. But... I gotta go. Remember, stay positive, stay motivated, stay inspirational, stay motivated, stay inspirational, stay inspired. Most of all, stay empowered. Stay empowered, people. Empower yourself. Empower somebody. As remember, every day above ground is what a good day, people. Remember, God loves you. God woke you up this morning. He chose you to wake up this morning to enjoy this beautiful day that He has blessed you with. Go out and enjoy it. Take advantage of it, but don't take it for granted because tomorrow's no promise. Go out there and make amends with anybody that you have problems with. Don't let it go unsaid. Don't let it go unresolved. Tomorrow's not promise. Okay, today's your day to go out and make those amends because tomorrow might come. That person might want to be there and you're going to live with life for the rest of your life with regrets. Don't live like that. On that note, I got to go. It's been a great day. It's been a good day. Happy Tuesday. Hope you have a good Tuesday. Hope you have a good work day. And on that note, if y'all got some money, go ahead and cash out me some money. Eat me some tacos. Go ahead because I'm broke. <laughs> No, just play. No, go out and enjoy yourself. Go out and enjoy Taco Tuesday. It's been a good day. On that note, love, peace, and a bowl of head grace. I love you guys. Love you so much. Take you out tomorrow on the next video. Peace out, my diamond babes. Love ya.